And there we go. Your own sketchbook. Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode of It's Raining Let's Draw. As you can probably tell, it's not raining outside right now. The sun is shining, which is okay. It's not as good as rain, but it'll do. But um, actually I have this problem because I just recently ran out of books or I mean um, pages in my sketchbook. It's now completely full with drawings. So due to Corona, uh, the shops are closed. Um, and if I order one on a web shop, it's gonna take two days to get here. So instead of that, I'm gonna make my own sketchbook and I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it. Uh, you gotta have some paper. It could be any kind of paper. I have this scrap paper here that's been lying around for, uh, for a few months that I'm gonna use. You're gonna need uh, an owl or something sharp like a nail, for instance. You're gonna need some thread and it's best if you use uh, some kind of waxed thread. This is a uh, waxed thread. It's gonna last longer for your sketchbook. And then you're gonna need a needle to sew with and you're gonna need a few of these uh, binders to, uh, to hold the book together. So let's get right to it and make our own sketchbook. Okay, so here I have my paper ready. And actually, I just want to add this color to the paper, just to the cover of the book. So I'm just quickly gonna go and do a cut this piece of paper out. There we go just to sort of add some color to my sketchbook so it's not so boring. There we go. Yeah. And then we're gonna fold this paperwork just to make sure that we know where to put the owl. Okay, so now I know where the middle is. And I'll just have to measure how many holes I have to make. I think I'll go with let's see five holes all in all, so I just have to figure out where to put them. So okay, so that's not exactly the same distance from here to here and here to here, but it doesn't matter. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to these sorts of things. I'm gonna start here. I put my all through here, all the way, and the same for the next one. All right. Just want to make sure that I have pierced them all the way through. Yeah, you can tell, and I'll just make sure to really make sure here. Okay, so now we are ready to sew. And we're gonna start, always start from the middle and outwards. I'm gonna pull this one through. See, I'm on the other side here now. And just make sure that you leave some thread here because we're gonna use that later, like this. And then sewing from the outside. Actually, I forgot to mention that these binders, <laughs> I would have used those to hold the book together like this. 
also one over here in the opposite corner. But as you can tell, it's not uh, obligatory. We're gonna sew from inside again to the outside. All the way to the top here. And you can tell now that I'm going on the back side now. Just always make sure to, to kind of tighten these thread up so like this. So it's not loose. And we can then gonna re go and return the needle in the hole here. There we go. And onwards to the middle. So that we now come back to the outside. Like so. And now the same thing for the other side. We need to go all the way to the other side to make sure that this is a solid sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And then we just need to go through the middle hole again, which we did in the beginning. And there's a reason for that because once we go to the back side here, you want to make now a knot here on the back side. And we're gonna make this knot by putting this thread, the needle in on beneath it here. And then in this loop that you now have, you're gonna put the needle in under here and then pull and you're gonna end up with oh Let's see what went wrong here there we go a knot after this knot yeah you want to pull Actually, you want to pull this knot on the inside to the inside. So I'm going to go back here with the needle and pull here. And we don't want to pull the knot all the way through here. There we go. You see the knot here. Now we want to make the last knot here by tuck it under here. And pull in here. So we make sure that we have a knot also here. And s some people prefer to kind of put this thread. Is this more for aesthetic reasons? Let's so tuck it into here. And likewise, you can cut off the remains here and put this one beneath here. There we go. You can now remove these. And you have a sketchbook. And we then have this kind of problem here, which 
I don't remember the term, but this is when the, the pages are not of the exact same length anymore because uh, the, the space of the pages has been eaten up by this curve here. So what we want to do is you just simply take a knife like this or a scalpel and you want to place your ruler here somewhere here and just start sliding off. And there we go, your own sketchbook. Okay, you guys, this was uh, today's video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful and I hope you're gonna make your own, very own sketchbook. I'm really happy about mine. I think it looks pretty neat and I actually made another one here, a bit thicker. So now I'm ready for those rainy days and to draw. Let me know in the comments uh, what do you think of this kind of uh, sketchbook and I wonder if you're gonna make your own. See you soon.